Hello everyone, this is Pierre, your ChemDraw wizard, and this is an overview of the new things you can do starting with version 17 of ChemDraw. What I will do is I will show you how to type a molecule of telithromycin with the new hotkeys in ChemDraw. The only thing that we need to start is one single bond. You can see there is a blue hotspot with a green dot that can now be moved without the mouse with simply the arrows on your keyboard. Okay, so let's go. And that's it. So first of all, let's make sure that we have the right molecule drawn. I could also, of course, have done Control Shift N and then telithromycin. We can make sure that it has been properly and accurately drawn. Now there is a new reaction shortcut in Chemtro version 17, where you can take a molecule or any other object and hold control and press the arrows on your keyboard. So control right, down and left will automatically create those reactions. And if I take this molecule here and I do control right on the edge of a page, then another page gets added automatically. Okay, so let's start with the basics. Zero and one are the hotkeys to insert a CC bond. Once you insert a bond, you will notice a blue hotspot with the green dot as an indicator. With the hotspot on an atom, pressing 1 will add CC bonds towards the green dot, in other words, it will extend as a carbon chain, while pressing 0 will add a CC bond away from the green dot, in other words, it will cyclize towards a six-membered ring. If we take the base scaffold of telithromycin, it looks as follow. I insert the first bond going up with the green dot on the left, and I press 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. One new addition is that you can move the hotspot with the arrows on your keyboard. The visual display of the hotspot disappears after two seconds. However, the hotspot remains active and the display can be reactivated simply by moving the hotspot with the arrows or touching the hotspot with the mouse. Remember not to stay over the hotspot with the mouse, otherwise all the hotkeys will apply where your cursor is. If you are over an atom hotspot and press the arrows on your keyboard, you will move from atom to bond to atom to bond. While holding shift will move you from atom to atom or bond to bond. For larger molecules, it may be easier to use the mouse to touch and activate a hotspot at the other end of the molecule. While you add a carbon chain with 1 and 0, you can of course alternate by pressing O for oxygen and N for nitrogen. One thing is that on your keyboard, Q has been made redundant for O and W has been made redundant for N. To insert the text label, you can simply press enter over an atom hotspot, type your label, press enter again, and from there you can continue moving. ChemDraw hotkeys are context sensitive, so we will have a look at the differences between types of atoms when you press them. While you are typing your molecule, you can simply do a control Z to go back where you made a mistake. The hotspot will always be activated for you to continue typing. Before we start, there is a cheat sheet available now in file, Open Samples, Enhance Hotkeys Cheat Sheet, and you can print one of the display on your desk if needed. By the way, there are also some new cool sample files that are organic chemistry reaction infographics made by Roman Valulin that you can see regularly on Twitter. Also important to note is that you can mouse over the different tools, and the tooltip will tell you what you need to press on an atom or bond to get it, or which generic hotkey you need to press while you're mousing over the canvas to select that specific tool. Just a few examples, now pressing X over the canvas selects the single bond tool, T selects the text tool, E selects the arrow, and spacebar selects the rectangle tool. Let's take this dummy molecule and quickly see what the different hotkeys do. We have already seen for 0 and 1, so let's start with 2. 2 will add a carbonyl group directly on the atom hotspot. On a primary carbon, you add a carbonyl and a methyl group, therefore an amide bond simply becomes 2N1, or even pr more practical to type, 2W1. If you are on a secondary carbon, pressing 2 adds a carbonyl, but the hotspot remains on the carbon, and the CO groups obtained by pressing 2 are designed to have the CO bond vertical. 
For another orientation, you would need to first insert the following CC bond and then come back to add the carbonyl. 3 or A is the hotkey to add a phenyl group. And if you are on a secondary carbon, it automatically adds a bond and then the phenyl group. The carbon in one for position is the default hotspot. However, you can simply move with the arrows and continue pressing 3 or A to add more phenyl groups. 4 and 5 are for sprouting wedged and hashed wedged bonds respectively. If you are on a primary carbon, it adds the wedged bond and then a methyl. If you are on a secondary carbon, it will sprout simply a wedge bond and the hotspot will be at the end of it. As an example, starting from this molecule, we can type 42N1, 52N1, 42N1, 52N1 to quickly type a natural amino acid backbone. 6 and 7 will respectively sprout a cyclohexyl and a cyclopentyl group. 6 to add a cyclohexyl, which if you press over a secondary carbon will fuse as spiro. And 7 will do the exact same thing with a cyclopentyl group on the primary and on the secondary carbon. As an example, pressing N6O will give you a morpholine group. 8 will add a double bond on the primary or secondary carbon. Combining it with other keys, 818181 8, will give you E configuration double bonds, whereas 808080 8, 8, will give you the Z equivalent. 9 will add a dimethyl group on a primary carbon and a gem dimethyl on a secondary carbon. And finally, Z will add an alkyne group with the proper geometry. For example, pressing AZ, AZ, AZ will get you this structure. And let's now have a look at the bond hotkeys, which work if you position the hotspot over a bond. All the previously existing hotkeys still work. That is to say, you press W to change a bond to a wedged bond, H to hashed wedged, B for bold, capital B for bold double, Y for wavy, and D for dashed. 2 gets you a double bond, 3 gets you a triple bond, 1 you go back to a single bond, and 4 you actually get the cyclobutane and not a quadruple bond anymore. By the way, you're welcome. The new bond hotkey for cyclopropyl is V, and the rest remains the same for saturated rings, that is to say 5, 6, 7, 8 will get you those rings. To fuse a benzene ring, you need to press A over the bond. It's the same as the atom hotkey for phenyl. And you can now also press Z over a bond to fuse a cyclopentadiene. All right, so now that we have seen that drawing molecules is less of a headache, let's see how we can quickly draw simple molecules to get started. And speaking of headaches, I insert the bond, atom hotspot on the right, and move away. And then I press 2N1310 or 2W131Q if you're lazy like me and you don't want to move your left hand. And that gets me paracetamol slash acetaminophen. Same thing, insert a bond, atom hotspot, and move away. 2O03, move, 2O and then I get aspirin. Or also, I insert a bond, hotspot, move away, 913920, and then I get ibuprofen. Let's try with some more recent medchem here. Ribocyclic, insert a bond horizontally, press N, move up, six, up, N, three, move and then N, move, one, N, one, three, N, press five, then two, Move over to atom, N17, move back to N9. And let's not forget when you finish drawing, press spacebar, then control right, down, left. And if you do it next to the edge, another page pops up. That is for the new hotkeys in Camdraw 17. A couple of other new cool things. If you are on Camdraw Professional, there is now a new and much more advanced biopolymer toolbar called the Helm toolbar, based off the Helm notation which is hierarchical editing language for macromolecules. And it basically allows you to enter more complex amino acid structures and nucleic acids to search for them, and even to customize them so that you can use them in your sequences more easily. And if you are already familiar with Helm, you can now copy as a Helm string or paste a Helm string directly into a structure. Also new, if you are on ChemOffice Professional, you now get access to MNOVA ChemDraw Edition, which allows you to process your NMR FID files and make annotations, on which you can, of course, 
copy paste chemical structures, and it also allows you to process mass spectra files. Lastly, if you are on ChemOffice Professional in version 17, you get access to Signals Notebook for ChemDraw, which is your cloud-based personal electronic lab notebook to capture your chemistry research data. Here you can simply type the name of your reactants, add them to the reaction, define number of equivalents, enter sample mass, enter recovered mass, and have an experimental procedure template ready for you to simply pick the reactant and the products. You can also simply drag and drop your PDF files, drag and drop your Microsoft Office document that you can also edit. And then of course you can search on all those experiments. Importantly, you can do chemical structure search where you will find all the reactions in that case that have a benzylamine scaffold as a product. Also, you can share those experiments. So if we go back to the one that we just created, we can see there is a comment section where you can leave comments for your collaborators. And then in the sharing button, you can decide with whom you share this experiment. You can share with individual users, but you can also share with predefined groups. And you can also decide which type of access this group has, either read-only or write. One final request, leave me a comment or drop me a line if you are able to draw as fast as I can or if you would like to get some advice on how to draw some of your molecules. And of course, if you found it useful, please share this video with as many chemists as you can. That's it for today. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a good one.